Hello and welcome to this audio commentary for Andrew Lugg's Black Forest Trading Post. I'm Stephen Broomer of Art and Trash. Andrew Lugg was one of the leading contributors to a Canadian underground cinema through the course of the 1970s, before he stepped away from filmmaking to focus on scholarly pursuits. He's Professor Emeritus in the Philosophy Department at the University of Ottawa. Many of his contributions were collaborations. For example, his films of performance artists Tom Sherman, Trace, um, and John Orntlicker, um, Plowskid Drag, Gemini Fire Extension. Alongside these performance films, Lug pursued a series of postcard films focused on vernacular photography and the challenge that such mass-produced imagery places to the realist foundation of the photographic project. These films would take postcard imagery and interfere with it, piercing its illusion by cinematographic means. In Black Forest Trading Post, a film Lug made in collaboration with Stuart Klein, the approach is that of collage, making sandwiches out of a consistent foreground and a changing, increasingly ludicrous background. The foreground is the titular Black Forest Trading Post, a souvenir shop in Ulysses, Pennsylvania. The backgrounds seem to gather a natural affiliation with the place names that the narrator barks out, but even this comes under distress as the parade continues, with branches that become mighty trunks in a bizarre distortion of scale. The constructed nature of the image is also made clear when night imagery appears behind the souvenir shop, which is plainly shot in daylight. In Black Forest Trading Post, the postcard landmark itself travels the world, a winking subversion of the whole idea of being there, um, and of the pilgrimages that postcards, or for that matter other souvenirs, are meant to commemorate. This has given added humor for the relatively inconsequential subject in the foreground. This is a postcard from a souvenir shop of the souvenir shop itself. It isn't an iconic landmark that's traveling the world. It isn't the Liberty Bell or the Eiffel Tower um, or the Colosseum. This choice of foreground turns this anonymous landmark into an absurd franchise, made all the more absurd by its seemingly elastic attachment to reality. R. Bruce Elder has argued that by introducing movement into the traditional stillness of the vernacular mass-market photograph image, Lug is exposing, quote, the lack of veracity in image itself, that he's exposing the doubts that should be laid at the feet of the photographer or cinematographer for the degree to which images are always constructed. This lack of veracity becomes increasingly obvious with scale distortions and surreal juxtapositions. For instance, when the foreground is placed against the Hoover Dam, um, a giant mountain goat, and finally an illustration of an airplane in flight. Likewise, it's a challenge to the contextualizing narrator who assigns each manifestation of the souvenir shop a location, straining the natural trust we lend to authoritative context. Lug's conceptual project is less a mockery of the disposable economy of the souvenir than a defiance of the realist project writ large. <laughs>